we now have automatic object mask in Premiere Pro beta. So all you have to do is click on your clip and then there's this new button right here called the object mask tool. As soon as you click on that, you can see that you can select any object in your video. And when you click that, it will open up the effects controls tab and you'll see this object mask right here. You can click this track selected mask forward and backward, and that's going to automatically track your video forward and backwards. As you can see with this overlay, it did a pretty decent job at masking out our subject. Now, if there's something missing or you need to add something, you can use these buttons right here and add or subtract something. Since our object has been masked out, how do we actually use this? Well, in the effects controls, there's this new thing called unassigned mask, and we have an object mask right here. We can rename this if we want, like girl running. You can simply copy that and paste it onto anything. We can paste it on opacity and we instantly have a transparent video of this girl running. What I actually like to do is duplicate my clip and on my top layer, I'm gonna copy that mask onto the opacity layer so that my top layer is transparent and then my bottom layer, I can simply adjust and modify. So I'm gonna go to the effects tab and type in directional blur. As soon as I dragged on the directional blur, it's actually automatically copying that mask that we created. So I'm just gonna delete that object mask. And now if I change the blur length on my directional blur, you can see how easily we modified the background. This is great if you want to play around with different effects, like maybe you just want to blur the background so I can drag on a Gaussian blur. Now this is also great because if you have text layer, you can just drag that text layer beneath the video. And now our text is behind the subject. Let's create a transition real quick. So I have this clip right here, of this guy running, and then I have this clip right here, of this guy getting tackled. So I actually wanna trace this runner because I wanna bring him in earlier on this first clip. So having my clip selected, I can click the object mask tool. And then from here, I can select what object or player I want to highlight, which is this one. So I'm gonna simply click on him and then I'm gonna select the track selected mask forward and backward. So that worked really fast, but if I scroll through here, you'll see that it actually started tracking this player, but I don't want that. So I can click this subtract from object tool and select that guy as well, because I don't really need him. And then I'm gonna click track forward and backward again. Now you can do that as many times as you need just to get a solid mask, but once you have that, we are ready to make the transition. All we have to do is drag our video clip up that we want to transition into over our first clip. And then I like to cut it so it's easier, so I know what clip I'm working with. And then I'm gonna select that top first clip right there, copy my object mask and paste it onto the opacity. Now you're gonna see that my clip is gonna start coming in just like this, and then it's gonna seamlessly transition like that but he starts like popping up on screen. So what I typically like to do is just add a scale and position, keyframe those, drag those to the end so it goes down to the normal size. And then I like to scale this up and move it off screen a little bit. So then it comes in on frame. Object Mask makes it so easy to single out anything in your videos. And I promise you when you play around with this and you start using different effects, you're gonna get some great results. And I can't wait till this comes to the full version of Premiere Pro.